they raised the black female up just a little bit above the black male. So now the black woman is getting most of the devil's degrees and certificates. So now she can hold down a job and keep a job. A black man can't even get a job. And if he does, it's paying slave wages. So now you got the woman who's the breadwinner of the family. So she's like, nigga, I ain't trying to get pregnant. Who gonna take care of us? You? Working at, and I'm not even gonna say it, name, cause some of y'all might work there, but that's how right, we gonna move out of that situation. But working for minimum wage, nigga, you? Flipping burgers, you? I ain't having no C, and if I do have a C, guess what? I'm running to uh, Margaret uh, Sanger. Master. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking that seed out of here, cause you afraid of economics. But if that sister with her single child, come together with that sister who has no baby, who comes together with that sister who's the breadwinner with that man, that sister can bring her income to the table, that sister can bring her income to the table, and that brother can do the best he do and then willfully work outside of this wicked civilization and build something for himself, and now this sister can bring forth life, and then more importantly, you add another sister on, now you don't even have to send them to the devil to get educated. Cause now you got sister who can bring forth life and then another sister who can help the sister and now y'all educating the babies. And if we build whole families like this, now you got sisters that come together with sisters that come together with sisters to educate all our babies, period. Now you got gods who ain't worried about you know how I'm just gonna make ends meet. Now you got gods who can come with gods who can come with gods who can come with gods to build businesses outside of this current system. That's right. And that's what it's gonna take. It has always been a family structure that has made us successful. If Mega did this.